This is old Cam. And this is not a spring check, and today we're going to be talking about Comic Con 2013. Oh yeah, I mean we. The, here's the problem was is that we have I have my ideas of how many people are there, and then their ideas of how many people are there. I know that um, that I I was told it was a hundred thousand plus, and they're saying one hundred thirty thousand, which is sort of. Well, they did say 130,000 and they reduced it to 100,000. Yeah, but um, they always bounce it up a little bit. Uh, there was not as many people on the outside as cost in costume this year. The inside had a lot of people in costume, but they were going outside this year because there's a dub they had a double layer of security this year. You had to have a, a thing just to get through the door to get to the door. Mm -hmm. And it get, kept people in, from costumes from going into the... Well, it's a good one. There's no toilets available, folks, on the outside. You have to go inside to go to the toilets. And if they're keeping people that are on the outside from going in, a lot of people on the outside do not have passes to get in, but they're still there. Mm -hmm. so. well, there's a lot of things that are going on on the outside of Comic-Con, too, out on the streets. Because some, there's some of the studios. We're actually looking for Hugh Jackman outside yeah. because Hugh Jackman... Man of Steel came out, actually did a huge thing out on the street. Yeah, but this time, um, because there's um, a worry about whether or not, they're not as much worried about Wolverine as they are the X-Men, and he's more or less there. Wolverine is coming out next week, period. So, But they're worried that the X-Men is coming out. The last movie didn't do as well as they hoped, and they think this one, which may not do as well. So they brought Jackman in to promote X-Men, and at the same time, the next day, come over and do Wolverine also, so. Mm -hmm. But um, there weren't as many stars this year as there have been in the past either. You think so? Yeah. Well, because um, what happens is, is that a lot of the studios are beginning to think there's a, a the law of diminishing returns on the Comic-Con, because it, 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 one of the people I was listening this morning was talking about, he said, when you're preaching to the masses, you only got to hear what you want to hear. These are the same people that were cheering Every single one of these movies has been a bomb at the box office. They were cheering for Comic-Con last year. Comic-Con is O for O. I mean, o, it's totally zero. I mean, every movie that was shown at the Comic-Con has basically been a bomb. So, uh, and it's, uh, so if you're putting in $100, $200 million and basically letting the people in a hall that is full of people that will... Oh, okay, she can tell you about one of the people, uh, the type of people that go to Comic-Con to go in the exhibit hall. What? Yeah, about staying out all night. Oh, they wait out the night before to go <laughs> Yeah. Go in. They did. I'm looking at, it's like, I knew some people that they waited outside overnight for Hall H. And you thought, they, you know, you think they would get good seats. But they were still like 50, 60 rows back. I was surprised. Yeah, because I swear they expanded the amount of seats they were in because when they're taking pictures from the back row, I mean, they increased the size of the, uh, like the Jumbotron that they have. It's huge this year. And the people still are looking like midgets on the screen from the back. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I know that we, they held 6,000. I, I think they put a lot more seats in. I bet you they had 10,000 people in there. Mm -hmm. Which is why you would be 50 rows back if you waited all night. But um, most of the stuff, the problem comes to is like Disney was there and Disney wasn't there. Disney has D23 coming up in August. And in August, they're supposed to have all the people that weren't there promoting things like they, they, the assumption is Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, and Carrie Fisher will make their announcement about the new movie there when they make the Star Wars announcements. And then, the, you know, that they think that Chris Evans and, and Hemsworth and the others will be there also talking about the, the more, okay, they, they were there as, 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 Secret, they were secret guests of like um, Disney is also running a program called Shield, uh, Agents of Shield over on the ABC network, and they sort of came as a as secret guest. Mm -hmm. But the guy that playing Loki though actually came in costume, which they said, which really cheered everybody. He did. Yeah, but the that's kind of cool. But the big stars were the people of The Walking Dead. I mean, they were really friendly. I mean, they just kept coming out on the balcony and. You know, you know, people say, hey, and they... they I know, it's like, how did they tell me they just see that somebody's out well, there? I, mean, I had to sit there and use the zoom lens on my camera to figure out who they were. 
because they come out, I guess, the Hall H is that room that's uh, right above the, the stairways, and they all come out of that room, and they can wave to people and stuff, and then they do have riots. When people do come down, they have, I mean, the people that are in the lines tend to break the lines and knock their, it's why the lines don't have solid things, petitions, they got little um, plastic things when they're knocked down and put back up, because every time somebody walks by to come in the back side, if the whole line swells, so. Mm -hmm. But, um, it, it, you know, it, 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 Comic-Con is awful. It's big news for what is there and it's not there. Mm -hmm. So, Sylvester Stallone was there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was there. Tom Cruise was there. Aaron Eckersley was there. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman was there. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence was there. Hannah Panglin was there, I think. Um, um, but, there was no Johnny Depp and there was no other people that would normally be there. A lot of people that are promoting the things that are still coming out because, and it comes from getting in and trying to end it very simply again, that, like I said, was said this morning, when you're preaching to the, the choir, you're always going to hear the response you want to hear. And with every single movie that was previewed last year at Comic-Con tanked this year, it lessened the value of showing anything major to that audience because they're gonna, they're gonna, because they've been sitting there all night long. They sat there all day to get to a panel, and um, because she knows you just moved down the, the seats. You moved, it, you move up the seats. But I remember before when I went to go see, um, I went to go see for Snow White and the Huntsman. I came three panels early. It had been recommended. This is basically I went in line for three panels early to be able to get a decent seat to watch the panel I wanted to see. Because we know people that are there that are asking our advice. Well, you think you sh I should go do my time in a big thing, or should I go to the smaller panels? We found uh, we found a problem with smaller panels also because people that canceled out all of a sudden didn't they uncanceled, and when they uncanceled, it screwed the whole uh, scheduling up. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, so it, uh, small panels are good unless something changes. And then what happens is. Uh, small panels tend to bounce into small panels, and you don't have time to get from one to another when the time changes. Mm -hmm. So you can actually lose two panels, staying to see the one panel that you wanted to see. We did lose. That's that part of the problem. But we lost two panels as a result of that happening, yeah. because the one that was supposed to start like at 2.30 didn't start until closer to 3, and there was another panel that started uh, at 3.30, and there was no way you could you know, it was going to happen, so we missed out on, our, on several panels, but, um, I mean, it's a unique experience, you know, but um, I wouldn't stand in line to go see those people, because I get the same information and don't have to stand in line, but you unfortunately have to, so. What? No, because I'm wearing the news biz. I mean, okay, I have access to the same stuff that they're talking about on the panels, mm -hmm. so if I get the pictures and I get the, the trailers and all this stuff, there's no reason for me to go set out. I, I wouldn't have sat outside to see anybody. I mean, anyway, I'm a star, I'm a star because I'm actually an amateur. You see people taking pictures of me. So, and I, I did figure out finally, I put it on my Facebook account what it was. What was it? It, it was very simple. They had never seen anybody as old as I am come to the Comic Con, and especially one that was working. And they obviously they wanted, everybody wanted a picture of somebody that wasn't my age that wasn't a member of The Walking Dead. Oh. So, so I guess until next time, this is old camp. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to uh, www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com or www.montybowman.net on the net. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wherever you watch this, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And please come like us on Facebook at our Monty Bubbles Network. Follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles and Pinterest. Where else? Pinterest, Instagram. Uh, we've actually all, got a Tumblr one. We just haven't actually figured it out yet. So. Oh, on all over the place. Anyway, thank you once again for hundreds and hundreds of millions of links all over the place.